I honestly feel that I should be a selfie director. Like you're behind the camera directing, correct? I'm in front of the camera lens directing myself. Get it? It's like you holding that camera right there. Action. And then everything cuts back to you like this. And cut. Hey guys, it's Joe Coy, and these are my essentials. First and foremost, I can't live life without coffee. And it can't just be coffee. Four shots of espresso with vanilla powder over pearl ice cubes. The only way you can get that is through coffee bean. What's so good about the powder? Have you ever tried syrup? It tastes like crap. Powder is kind of like the texture to coffee. You want to give your coffee a little texture? Throw some powder in it. What? Why are we? <laughs> this is actually my fifth. I, I collect Rolexes. They, they were like career goals. I think everyone should have goals. It doesn't matter what they are. Set a goal, knock that goal down, and then set another goal. That's how you climb. Mine is a Rolex. <laughs> my 20th year, I bought a, a solid gold uh, presidential. This was year 30. Solid gold sky dweller. <laughs> my son, this is how he feels about the Rolexes. They're mine, right, Dad? Everything that I've accomplished is all going to him. So actually, I'm wearing my son's Rolex. I am a bit of a Gucci fanatic. I will spend five paychecks on one Gucci item because that's always been how I live my life. It's got all the colorways, too. That's what I love about this bag. It's so subtle, but yet you know it's Gucci. They got shoulder strap, and then they got the blue and red here. So I, I have a mask because I don't like it when people fly next to me and they sneeze. And then the sneeze goes in my mouth. See, without this, I'm flying, and then someone next to me goes <coughs> And then I go <coughs> It blew malaria into my throat. So enjoy your cold. This is a CPAP machine. This is why I have that backpack. Are you kidding me? Head to toe. I look good. And then I compliment my outfit with this. It's called Death Gray. Whoever designed the bag. Let's make it hip. Let's put a, let's put a hint of turquoise. Look at this thing. This is, this is what I have to carry or else I die. So this end of the hose goes right here. And then you take this part of the hose and you stick it right here on your Bane mask. Are you ready, ladies? You know how embarrassing that is? Oh my God, that was beautiful. It's time for bed. I'll see you in the morning. I wish I was exaggerating. Without this mask, I can't sleep. It shoves air down my throat. I don't breathe. Like, it's not snoring. People think sleep apnea is snoring. No, it's not. For some reason, my brain's like, oh, you're going to sleep, Joe? And I'm like, yeah. And then my brain's like, okay, us too. So everything shuts the fuck off. The whole body. Thank God for CPAP. These are kind of like my, my favorite sunglasses. These are my go-tos right here. These are my Javinci's. I think you say it like that, Javinci. I don't even know. I like big glasses, like huge. When I'm wearing them, people are like, oh my God, you must have had LASIK. So they have to be that big, get it? Like here's my ears. I need this part to like be even with this ear. I like my, my glasses big like this. And it's hard to find. So when I get them, I buy them. Now you're probably wondering to yourself, why? Why do you buy big giant frames? Because I have been blessed with a large head. It's a size seven and three eighths. And that's massive. When you have a head that big, you should only have a yellow shirt with a black zigzag stripe across the chest. That's a Charlie Brown reference. For all you young kids that don't know who the fuck Charlie Brown is. This is what happens when you wear smaller glasses. I look like Lawrence Fishburne in The Matrix. The iPhone. Why? Because I always buy the newest one. They can sell me anything at Apple, and guess what I do? I fucking buy it. Everything they say to me, I don't even understand it. Uh, the iPhone uh, X1 is And then I go like this, I'll take it. Do you have it in black? Top three apps on my iPhone. Are you ready? 
Instagram, iMovie, and Glow Puzzle. Hey, since you like Glow Puzzle, here's Popcorn Hole. Swipe to start. Okay. Basically, it's a hole, and you try to stick as much popcorn in that hole in seconds. I play the dumbest games. Right here is an original piece. This is off-white denim. I got this one in Japan. I love this piece right here. This one's beautiful. Look at that. Woo! Fitted sleeves, tapered on the side. Uh, you rock this, and people know that it's something special. I love rocking this one. And then I personalized it. Can I show you? <sighs> From the ghetto to the Getty. It's exactly what it is, man. You know what I mean? You bust your ass. Like I said, you try and get those goals and you set yourself to the highest goal. You know, when I first started stand-up, I used to rent uh, theaters, you know, that weren't in the best areas. Those are your humble beginnings. And then, uh, you know, 30 years later, you get to play the Blazedale Arena in, in Honolulu, Hawaii. So it's got a lot of meaning to it. My, my son's mom, her boyfriend is an artist. He designed uh, that piece right there. It's also what I wore in the special. So I'm actually rocking his piece on stage. So boom, that's how we do it. All I know is Virgil, you are killing the game. You know, bringing that, that flavor and that culture to the masses is something very, very special. And I'm just happy that this happened during my generation. If I can rock Virgil's shit, I will. He's a modern day genius, man. I've been on this kick because I love shorts. I like to wear them year round. I really do. So what I've done now is I wear spandex underneath my shorts. Do you want to see them? This is what I like to wear. I wear spandex a lot. I do have a little bit of an insecurity with my leg. Do we want to get graphic? You sure? When I was 15, I almost died on a motorcycle. Compound femur fracture. That's when the bone comes out of your leg. It's also the biggest bone in your body. Sticking out about this far. My shin, both bones broken, tibula and fibula. Burnt all the way up from my ankles, all the way up to my knee, and my knee was dislocated. So don't ride a motorcycle. That's why I wear spandex. Bow with them off-white Prestos. What? The only pair of Nikes you should ever buy. This is something that I rocked on the special as well. I was actually gonna walk out on stage with some Nike Harachis, some blue standard Harachis, and my son was like, nope, you need something special for your special. And he's like, you need to get them off-white Prestos, Dad. So big shout out to Virgil again. This, to me, this is, this is artwork. This isn't even a shoe right here. This is an art piece. What do I like about it? Everything. This is when, when you're so creative and you take every ounce of creativity and you build it right in front of you. I haven't seen a piece this beautiful since the Jordan 3s. This is a real shoe head right here, you guys. I was rocking Jordans when Jordan was playing, so stop. Don't you ever fucking say that to me again. This is a family owned business right here. I put them on the map. Y'all own me. 808, baby, 808 all day, every day. Look at that. All the way from Maui. If you're ever in Maui, go to the mall there. There's only one. Don't go which one. There's only one mall there. Just go to 180. The name of the store is called 180. I, I can't get enough of these hats, man. Boom. Come on. Real low. Don't let them see your eyes, man. Let them see your soul, bro. <laughs> I love everything about Hawaii. Uh, I love the fans there. I love the people there. Why is everything to me? Are you kidding me? That's why I broke the record. I've never sold that many tickets in my life before. I sold 24,000 tickets six months in advance. I remember performing at the Queen Kapolani for handing out free coupons to everybody. It'd be like 400 chairs empty and just six people. And it would be the six people I begged to come. But you know, you still perform. Like people don't know that. People think that it just always happens. That's not what happened. I remember those six people and that's special to me. I don't carry big giant billfolds. I don't carry cash. I only carry one credit card. This is all I carry. Yes, it's heavy. Have you ever heard that? You wanna buy a house with it? Go ahead. And it goes in here, it's the Prada. What I love the most about Prada, you know it's something when you look at it. Whenever I wear a Prada suit, I always get like, yo, who made that? That's beautiful. Every time I wear it, it just looks like a piece. And that's what sells the name. And they believe in their product. I don't think anyone's in here. I'm Joe Coy. 
and those are my essentials. Mm-hmm.